Hey, what's good up? Good morning. I just woken up right now. I'm in the village in Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah. I told you I'm visiting Kenya for two months, so I haven't started uh, moving around. So very soon I'll be moving around. So just woken up, and I've gotten like, tons of messages on my uh, messenger on Facebook. People are asking that. Ah, I've seen your video on TikTok. Are you helping people to go to uh, Germany? Do you pay uh, some money? Blah blah blah. Let me tell you. I'm not helping anyone to go to Germany. For me, I'm just guiding you. Yeah. So there's someone uh, on uh, TikTok trying to con people with my name. It's not my account, but the person is, is using my videos, telling guys send this money and then we'll re relocate you to Europe. I don't know nursing jobs. I don't know caregiver or something like that. So it has come to my attention that the public is being misled by someone on TikTok. So I don't, I don't offer a job to, uh, to Germany. I don't request money from people. I don't take people to Germany, full stop. So for me, I'm here to guide you. And the only thing I can guide you is easy uh, to come to Germany. Very easy. You can come to Germany like me. You can, go, you can go and stay in Germany. You can work in Germany. If you follow the following rules, and I'm repeating for the last time, uh, there are schools in, uh, in Kenya offering German language. There's Gyps, there's Gote, and there's other schools in Nakuru, Kericho, I don't know. Some For me, I went to German Institute of Professional Studies. It was in 2014-15. I did my Deutsch there, and then I did my exam at Gote. Why did I do my studies at Gyps? Because it was cheaper. Yeah, it was very cheaper because... Uh, at, at Gote, they were requesting like 30,000 per module or something. <clears throat> like A1, 30,000. A2, 30,000. Uh, B1, 30,000. So that's almost like 100k Kenya shillings. By that time, I didn't have that money. If I had that money, I would have gone to Gote Institute and uh, did my studies there. But I opted for. German Institute, of, uh, German Institute of Professional Studies. Studies. Hey, hey, hey Kiluya. Gyps. That's where I did my uh, language. It was cheap. I think it was like 9,000 per module. I think 12,000, 9,000. So it was cheaper. So it's easier doing German language in Kenya than doing German language in Germany or at Gote. You understand? Am I making myself clear? You can do your studies anywhere, even on Duolingo, you can do online, you can do, your friend can teach you, and then you book exam by Gote Institute of Professional, uh, Gote Institute, yeah, do your exam at Gote, because German embassy, they only allow certificate from Gote, am I clear? I'm saying, you can be good in Dutch, you are the best in Dutch, you speak good. Dutch. You can you understand Dutch very well. You are in Kenya, but you understand Dutch. But without a certificate from Gote Institute of Nairobi, certified institution that allows you to do the exams there, you pay your exams there, you do everything there, and then you get your certificate. And this certificate has pass mark. <laughs> 60%. If you do A1, and then you do ex your exam. Be very sure that your certificate expires after six months. <laughs> but you, if you do A2, B1, B2, your certificate does not expire. Because for me, I did my A1, and then I went to German embassy. I requested for a visa for to go to Germany. I was denied. And then... I reapplied after six months. So when I took my certificate there, A1, they told me that it has expired. It has reached six months since I start for my exams. <laughs> so they, they, they don't allow uh, A1 certificate after six months. It expires. So I request you go to school, do your exams, B1 or B2 exams, doesn't matter wh wh wherever you went to school. If it's Mshomoroni, Kariobangi, 
Kisumu Dala, Karachuonyo, Kakamega, Turukana. As long as you come to Nairobi, you book exams with Gota Institute, and then they, you pass. 60%, I've told you. After you pass, now I can help you. I'm here now for you. After you pass your exam, I'm here for you. I've just woken up, people are requesting, can you help me? How much? How much? How much? No, no, no. Me, I don't take money. I don't take money uh, to take people to Germany. But I have a friend. Uh, he's in Germany. He's uh, uh, in Dutch. I know this word in uh, this word. I know this word in Dutch. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot in English. Like, he's a boss to nurses. Hey, translating. Uh, hey, look at this fast house like Translating Dutch into English is problem. Team Lighting, no, 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 it's not Team Lighting. Team Lighting is a team leader. But it's just a, a team leader, like, I, he can sit down with the Germans and make decisions about nurses. So this guy, if you have a B1, B2, I can link you, I can link, hey, Kiluya, I can link you to this guy, and then he will help you how to maneuver everything, how to apply for this and this, and then you can come to Germany. He needs like 50 people right now before December. So if you are ready, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and then I'll give you his contact in Germany. Yeah? I won't give you his name because you guys, you are DMing everyone on Facebook, on me, oh, I want to go to Germany, oh, I want to go to Germany. When they ask you, do you have like qualification? Qualification is, uh, do you have knowledge in a German language? You don't have, you see? So it becomes a problem helping Kenyans. Kenyans want shortcuts. You think going to Europe is like going to Gulf and Qatar, blah, blah, blah. In Qatar, you don't need uh, to go to embassy. You just need an agent. You submit your documents to an agent. The agent will do everything for you. And then you'll get your visa via email. <laughs> yeah. in, uh, in Germany, you have to present yourself physically at the German embassy in Nairobi. Yeah? You submit your document, they ask you questions, you answer your questions very well, and then you pay for your visa fee by yourself, and then you can move to Germany when they issue with a, with a visa. I have like three uh, friends, these here, these here they came to Germany. I guided them to, in every, every step, they did their exams. They are, we'll do an interview when, when I go back to Germany. So, it's good. Make sure you have the the right papers. Right papers, I mean, I mean certificates. And then you can move to Germany. But someone telling you that is an agent, we have caregiver jobs in Germany, we have uh, restaurant jobs in Germany, we have, they are lying. They want to squander your money. <laughs> Be very careful. I'm telling you for, for truth, you will not go to Germany. You will pay your money because you have a lot of money to waste. Go waste your money on agents. <laughs> me, I won't stop you. Go waste your money to agents because your agent has lied to you that he took people to, uh, to Germany, he took blah 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 to Germany. And mostly, I've seen that there's a guy on, uh, on Facebook, he just takes random pictures from people, I think on social media, like someone from South Africa, Namibia, who's in Germany, and then he posts there, eh, Cherop. Uh, has taken the flight to Germany to study, uh, to go study nursing. Kirop has taken blah blah blah. And the picture, if you Google the picture, Kenyans, I don't know. Hey, hey. You guys, you are rich, my friend. You are very rich. You have a lot of money to waste. If you take the picture that guy has posted and then you, you go paste it on the Google search, you'll find that the name will direct you to South Africa. Namibia, Botswana, Nigeria, mostly Nigerians. This guy is calling people like, uh, is taking people to Germany. You see a face, like we are Africans. You can differentiate between a Nigerian, a Kenyan, a South African. So you take a South, a South African uh, woman's photo, you post on social media, you say it's Cherop. My friend, we know how Cherop looks like. <clears throat> I'm not stereoty I'm st stereotyping anyone, but... We know, Kenyans, we know ourselves. Like, you, you can be walking in Germany on the streets and you, you, you just see someone like, this is a Kenyan, without wearing the wristband. You just definitely know this, this is a Kenyan. So, stop being misled on internet. Go to school 
after you work hard, you pass your exam, 60%, find me on my social media, I'll link you up with someone. A Kenyan, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a Kenyan. He will direct you to where you can get good offers. Job, nursing, career, everything. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.